Good evening, my loves. Good evening. How is everyone tonight? So I have found it in my heart to do a reading for the in general out there. Uh, this is going to definitely resonate with somebody. Um, there's definitely a message that is supposed to go out. So we're going to deliver the message and we're going to put it out there. And this may resonate with you. You may know exactly what it's like. message do we have okay this message this is the queen of potions okay this is definitely for a female out there okay um it may resonate with a male but it's most definitely uh for a female that's going to go through this situation whatever these cards pull okay it looks like that we have a broken heart out there okay your heart's been broke You're mending yourself, okay? You definitely have had your heart broke, your feelings hurt, and now you're you're starting to feel better. You're starting to mend yourself, okay? You're starting to feel a little bit better about yourself. And you're starting to like maybe get up and, and feel like doing something. Some of the hurt is starting to subside a little bit. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Looks like you're going to uh, mend yourself and you're going to spend that uh, Wheel of Fortune and um, see what go see what is uh, going on out there for you. Oh, definitely. we got some love potion going on. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got the lover's card with the love potion. Um, let's see what we can pull. Ooh, we look at the present with the snake. Okay, um... What I'm picking up from this reading here is that it's most definitely for a female who has uh, recently had a broken heart, who's been tore apart, who's had their feelings hurt. Um, you're actually starting to feel, you're mending yourself up. Uh, you see her where she's sewing her arm back together. You're, you're starting to feel a little bit better about yourself, that you want to step out a little bit and you want to spin that wheel of fortune to see what is out there for you, okay? And you uh, come across the love potion and the lover's card, okay? Um, and then the end card, you get the uh, ten of presents, okay? And the ten of presents represents uh, somebody who needs to be watchful, okay? You need to be careful. But when you spend this wheel of fortune and this lover comes about... You just need to kind of uh, be careful and step back a little bit from that and be sure you don't jump in too fast because if you do, if you move too fast, you see that snake that's under the tree wrapping around all those presents? And if you was to jump too fast, what would that snake do? It's gonna bite you, okay? So this card is just a card that is um, asking you when, when you spill this, spin that wheel of fortune in life and step out and you got this lover be 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 mindful be careful okay be very careful of yourself so we're going to pull one of these cards and see what we get with this reading here most definitely heal yourself 
spin that wheel of fortune go out there and live your life but in the process of meeting this new person just be careful okay just be careful with yourself keep your guard up at least halfway okay and um, just go have fun Now, this is not a bad card saying you are going to get bit by a, by, by a snake, you know. Um, it's not saying that your date or this new guy or whatnot is a snake. It's just telling you to watch out for things like that, okay? Because you are healing and you are mending from this broken heart already, okay? Let's put one of these cards here and see what we get. I don't know, I want to say this reading's for a Libra. Yeah, absolutely. This card resonates with this reading right here. It's most definitely for one of my viewers, but it says, close your eyes, tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay, this card is the end to this reading. Peace, love, and light.